First, we had chatbots, mainly seen in e-commerce stores. Then on November 2020, we got the release of ChatGPT, and following that, Google Bard. Taking the chatbot concept to the next level, these platforms gave us more than just simply trained responses, but instead had the capability to generate a plethora of text, information about recipes, history, scripts, and more. Now, ever since the release of the custom GPTs by OpenAI, which we covered in another video, we are beginning to enter the new stage of AI assistants, where we move from simple AI assistants to what can be deemed as AI agents. So in this video, I'll go through the specifics of what an AI agent is and how they change how we do things entirely in the near future. But before I do so, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps us get seen more. And keep yourself prepared by subscribing to this channel to learn the building blocks for the age of AI. So to explain it briefly, AI agents are essentially systems or software that can perform tasks or actions autonomously on behalf of a user. Designed to observe and act on that observation, AI agents will be able to look at the digital, physical, or both worlds and make decisions based on said observation as a means to achieve specific goals or objectives instructed. Of course, we're still not near the stage of which AI agents will take over our lives completely, but the announcement of custom GPTs is one step closer to us getting there. So when it comes to AI agents though, you can see them in five distinct types. For one, there's a simple reflex agents. Just as the name implies, these are simple by nature. They are reactive responders that make decisions based on the input you give it. They don't learn from the past nor look into the future. For example, you can see a basic automated thermostat system as a simple reflex agent. It adjusts the temperature system based on some settings that you give it, and that's it. The second type of agent is the model-based reflex agent. These agents are fed a history of data of what has been perceived to make more informed decisions. It isn't just reacting on an input. A basic example of this might be spam filters in your email. They identify what is spam and what isn't based on past interactions of emails coming in. And then this interaction, of course, would be you labeling or indicating what is spam. And then third is the goal-based agents. Goal-based agents do a bit more than just the first two agents, where they act on specific directives or goals. Besides just considering the current state, goal-based agents have information on specific objectives that need to be achieved and will plan or act accordingly. A common example of this is a GPS system, which will provide you detailed route of how to get to a specific destination. The fourth is utility-based agents. If you want to take goal-based agents a bit further, you then reach utility-based agents, which are most practical. Not only do they act on the assigned value objective, but they can act differently based on what is most efficient way. In other words, they possess a bit more utility, as the name implies, than just a single goal-minded approach. So if we take the earlier GPS example that I talked about, you can get a more advanced GPS system that provides a suggested route that has the least amount of traffic. Now this is a type of utility-based agent. Finally, the most advanced type of AI agent would be learning agents. Much like their name, these agents observe, adapt, and most of all, improve on their experiences. They aren't just acting on data fed to them, they are making the feedback of the experience and learning from them. From recognizing patterns to making actual predictions, a learning agent is quite powerful in nature as it improves upon its previous experience. These days, learning agents are actually more prominent than you think. A common example is recommendation systems used by Netflix, YouTube, or Amazon. These systems learn from past consumer behavior, preferences, and interactions, and then they suggest what would be the best befitting content or item for that given user. So covering all of these types of AI agents, now you might be wondering, what is the difference between an AI assistant and an AI agent? While these terms are kind of used interchangeably, there are some distinct differences between the two. Although for the vast public, those differences really won't be that identifiable. But for anyone who is curious, you can kind of see it as this. An AI agent is sort of defined mainly by its autonomous feature. It's capable of autonomous action to meet a specific objective. Whether it's performing repetitive tasks to a bit more complex systems that make specific decisions on the data that it was fed, AI agents are uh, more adaptable. It's able to learn and change based on the environment. Some examples of AI agents in the real world are like autonomous vehicles, industrial robots, trading bots, such and such. AI assistants, on the other hand, are more of like a subset of AI agents. They are trained to assist with specific tasks. They usually function by interacting with users in a conversational manner focused on more of like an interactive. They're definitely less autonomous and more dependent on the interaction with the user through natural language processing. And as such, there's like a level of personalization to them. Due to this personalized nature and interactivity, AI assistants, as the name implies, are more to assist people whether that's in the form of scheduling, answering questions, or providing information. So you can kind of see examples of AI assistants in the real world, such as Siri, Google Assistant, Alexa, or even ChatGPT. 
So all of these AI agents of different levels are implemented into our everyday lives. They cater to solving various problems and help with our decision-making process. So just because learning agents are more advanced, this doesn't necessarily mean that they need to be used for everything. Depending on the task at hand, one type of agent may be more suitable than the another. So what makes AI agents worth noting is that they aren't something in the far future. They're already here, controlling most of our world. So as we move forward, we can probably start to see more of these AI agents having an increase in autonomy, and they're going to be more capable of making more complex decisions without any human intervention. I mean, if you look at the world right now, from autonomous vehicles and like healthcare, diagnostics, you can see a lot of the AI agents already playing their part. And these days, a lot of the AI agents are more adaptive and interactive. And with advances like custom GPTs that came around the corner, it's only time where these become more personalized and more specific to their own use case. So overall, this video was just to help you get a better understanding of what's to come and what AI is turning into with more developments from ChatGPT, Bard, and, and other AI assistant, AI agent based platforms. If you're interested about the different stages of AI, I do recommend checking out the next video. It'll be super useful to you and we're actually quite closer to AGI stage than we think. If this content was useful to you, leave a comment down below of what you think about AI agents. Make sure to like this video, it really helps the channel get seen more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to navigate this digital ocean of AI together.